I think when you look at Bataclor now, it's amazing to see how much Sri Lankans have achieved in the last 10 years and the degree to which they've really rebuilt their lives and gone way beyond what they had before. One of the areas, villages I, I visited was Katankudi and there was a, an older lady there uh, who we visited in her house. And she was saying before the tsunami, she'd lived in really quite a, a poor hut. Uh, which had offered no protection whatsoever when the tsunami hit. And she described how they fled helter-skelter in land, just trying to flee the water, and thankfully she and her husband survived. But there, there was no, no protection in that, and they lost everything in it. Now, ten years on, she's living in uh, the house that we've provided, which is... It's nothing elaborate, it's just two bedrooms, a small lounge and a kitchen with a toilet outside. But to her, she says, we could never have dreamt of living in a house such as this. And she described, she said, I'm still anxious, I'm still frightened that the tsunami will come any evening, just as it did that last time. But I do feel much more secure in the house that Caritas has given us.